Welcome to the Water Surface Elevation, or WSEL grid, non-GIS tutorial. This presentation provides details about what the WSEL grid is and how to use it to find your base flood elevation, or BFE. Most communities are familiar with using flood insurance rate maps, or flood maps, to guide sound floodplain management decisions. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, also created flood risk products to be used alongside regulatory products like firms. Flood risk products are non-regulatory, ready-made sources of additional information that go beyond the basic flood hazard information on the firm and provide more extensive and more user-friendly information. Flood risk products can help communities make better and more effective mitigation decisions. Flood risk products include the flood risk database, which stores the changes since last firm, water surface elevation grids, flood depth grids. It may also store the percent annual chance grid, percent 30 year chance grid, flood risk assessment, and areas of mitigation interest. A flood risk map and a flood risk report will often accompany the database. A cross-section shown on a firm panel is labeled with a number. This number represents the WSEL or BFE, the height of flood water above a standard ground zero or NAVD 88. The WSEL grid shows these elevations in a gridded format. WSEL values at each cross-section are interpolated or estimated for areas in between each cross-section to create a smooth seamless grid with WSEL values at every cell. The WSEL grid allows community officials to better understand, explore, and communicate the variability of flood elevations in flood prone areas. The WSEL values are directly related to the base flood elevations found on flood insurance rate maps. These values provide additional detail for, for elevation determinations. The following part of this tutorial outlines steps in the Colorado Hazard Mapping Program website for determining what the base flood elevation is for specific locations. The Colorado Hazard Mapping website is a one-stop shop for citizens, community officials, and industry stakeholders to find a variety of information about Colorado's flood risk. It is organized by stakeholders so that a property owner, community official, or CTP representative can quickly find information most relevant to them. To navigate the Colorado Hazard Mapping site from the homepage, click the Flood Hazard window. Here you will see the homeowner section where properties are found by an engine that looks up addresses or by zooming into an area using the map viewer. The county flood information section allows the user to click their county name and view study information specific to each county. The general information section provides videos, printable fact sheets, templates, and much more. The CHAMP section allows the user to view the status of all CHAMP projects within Colorado. Here you will see an example of a specific county in the county flood information, which brings the user to an in-depth look at each flood study for that county. Once you have selected a county, you will see this page with multiple tabs across the top. For this tutorial, click the WSEL Grids tab. Enter your address in the search bar. When you hit enter at the end of your address, a pop-up will appear. Use the plus and minus buttons to zoom into your property and the mouse to pan. If the property is located within the 1% floodplain, the pop-up will show a 1% water surface elevation number. 
The WSEL number is the height of flood water from a defined base measurement, or elevation zero, called NAVD 88. This number is equivalent to the base flood elevation, or BFE, which represents the 1% annual chance event WSEL, as the BFE and WSEL are related for this storm event. It is important to relay the WSEL value to the property's flood insurance provider. As previously mentioned, flood risk products were developed to be used alongside regulatory products like firms to help guide this tough conversation. Many of the flood risk products help stakeholders visualize their flood risks in a way that lines on the firm cannot, making flood risk products a powerful communication tool. The following provides more resources to learn more about flood risk products. Please use these web pages for printable flood risk product fact sheets, Colorado's resiliency plan throughout the state, FEMA specific resources, other uses for a base flood elevation, and what exactly is meant by the term 100 year flood. A geographic information system known as GIS is a powerful tool for visualization and data analysis. If you're interested in trying GIS, check out these resources. Once you have an ArcGIS platform, contact your community for a copy of the flood risk database and a flood risk product map package. For additional information, please contact representatives from the Colorado Water Conservation Board.